Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 Volkswagen Arteon and its 12-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at speaker locations, audio inputs, audio controls, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, get out on the road, listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if all you want to do is hear sample music, you don't want to see how the infotainment system works and all that stuff, click on into the video, we've got chapters that should get you right to the music. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at the car. This is Volkswagen's snazzier version of the Passat, a VW Arteon, looking good here in this silver paint, all these cool character lines, big old wheels, make sure you don't hit any potholes with those. If you want to see more on the Arteon, check the links in the description for our full review and our highway fuel economy test. We always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed files on a USB stick plugged directly into the sound system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. Decent infotainment screen, it's kind of an evolution of what Volkswagen's had for a while. I'll bring up sound settings. You have your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. And then you've also got treble, mid-range, and bass, as well as these sound modes, pure, chill out, live, and energy. So let's go through and demo all those now. Subtle differences between those four modes. I do prefer energy the most, but we'll start our test with pure, and I'll show you energy later on. Audio controls in the R-Town, you've got a nice volume knob right here, it's got good clicks, easy enough to grab. You also have haptic volume controls here on the left side of the steering wheel, so you can either press and click, or you can sort of slide down, and slide up. It's not my favorite volume control in the world, but it's not too bad. Track selection, you have the same thing on the right side of the steering wheel, you can haptic back and forth or click. You've also got a tuner knob on the right side, and if you're on the media screen, you can use these buttons right here. For audio inputs, in the Arteon, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, wireless Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay, so that's nice to see, and multiple USB-C ports. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have any USB-As, you don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, and you also don't have a disc player. Not the end of the world, but you'll definitely want to keep a USB-C to USB-A adapter in the car because you will certainly have people or devices or something that's going to need USB-A at one point or another. Speaker locations. Starting down in the bottom left, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. In the trunk. We have a woofer under the floor in the spare tire, 12. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto demonstrations. Now, as I said at the beginning, you do have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and that's really useful because all you have to do, just got my iPhone 8 right here, freestanding, hit app, and look at that, we've got CarPlay already queued up. Here's your settings menu, you've got your music, you've got your maps, even though I don't have a data connection right now, and all that good stuff. Super responsive, looks decent. Switch on over to Android Auto. And there we are, we've got Android Auto all brought up. We got our Google Maps loading nicely. Switch on over to YouTube Music. Maybe, come on. Seems to be struggle busting a little bit. I don't know if that's the phone or the car. Must be the car, because the phone's running fine.
try restarting it. There we are. Oh. There we are. Nothing a little restart couldn't fix. You got your home menu, setting screen. Doesn't look quite as good as Apple CarPlay, but it still works perfectly well. All right, let's fire it up and get on the road. Exactly 
crisp, but it's a little more powerful. Another thing you can do to actually make it sound better, bring this stuff back to neutral. Whoops. You can just hit this energy, and then it sounds better. My Let me skip forward or skip back to some of the portion of the song. disappointed both from Volkswagen and from Harman Kardon. Typically these systems sound really strong in most vehicles, not getting that so much in the Arteon. Disappointed in the over-boosted mid-ranges of a lot of songs, especially more pop type music, pop R&B, you'll be expecting a heavy bass line and maybe some hi-hat type sounds and you're getting too much mid-range, too much vocal and it's coming through at a very high point in the car and harsh on the ears. That's a bit disappointing. It can be fixed a little bit by tuning adjustments in the sound settings, but a really good system shouldn't need that. It should be good directly from how the sound engineers designed it. Objectively speaking, for sound quality, I'd be giving this about a six and a half. Subjectively speaking, factoring in the inputs, the way the infotainment screen works, 
and the price of the car, uh, still about a six and a half, maybe a seven. So thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more on the Volkswagen RTN, check the links in the description for our highway fuel economy test and our full review. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.